One of the reasons I think is because they finally finished their battle. See, when you're in the middle of, of struggles and battles and fights and stuff, it's a lot easier to rely on God because you know you need him. I mean, you're, you're, you're fighting all the time. You need, you need that strength. You need that encouragement. You need to be lifted up a little bit more. And it's, it's a lot, you know, just like um, that's one of the reasons why it's so much more receptive to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ in poorer neighborhoods. Because people are struggling more. People are struggling financially. People are struggling in other ways. And, and they're, they're just trying to get by. So they're more humble. Because they're, they're, it's a lot easier to, to receive a gift when you're real humble. It's a lot easier to put your trust in Jesus Christ and to put just say, yes, God, I can't do this on my own. I know I can't do this on my own. I'm having a hard enough time just getting by. God, I need you. They're in a much better frame of mind and of humility to be able to receive that. But when you start accumulating riches, maybe you start being blessed and you start getting a lot of things, what happens? People have a tendency to think, oh, I did all this. Look at the works of my hands. Nebuchadnezzar is a great example of that. Look at this great kingdom which I built. Did he build that kingdom? No. God said, I raised him up. I put you in that position for his purpose. And he says, you know what? I'm going to bring you down. And he did. He turned him into like an animal, a beast. Just to show... Who's the real boss? And we need to never, ever lose sight of that. No matter where you're at. The children of Israel here, I believe they're getting all of this information right now and they're trying to hammer it home because now they're going to experience a time of peace and prosperity. They're in the promised land. Their enemies are defeated. They don't have these struggles anymore. He said, don't forget where you came from. Going all the way back to Abraham. And don't forget that God is the one who got you here. He led every step of the way and he defeated the enemies. And it's only by his grace and mercy that you're here today. That's what he's telling them. 